Happy Thursday, Ravens, and welcome back to Game Day Northwest. Today we have updates on your favorite Raven sports. Last Tuesday, Chris Graham and the mighty Lady Ravens traveled to Shawnee Mission South to battle the Raiders. The starting goalkeeper for the Ravens was Tori Spurgeon. She was able to keep the Raiders' score low by stopping every ball that came her way. Some close calls were avoided as the game stayed close, though. With 14 minutes left in the second half, the Ravens had a chance to put it away. But the ball escaped the crowd of players in front of the Raiders' goal, and Ariella Mesa made a shot toward the goal, but it bounced off the post before being kicked away. This game would be decided in overtime. With time ticking down in overtime, Jamie Barman got the ball and powered it into the net, putting the game away and giving the Ravens a 2-1 victory. What a game, Ravens. Good job on your win, and congrats. The Ravens played the Alethes Hawks last night at Seaback. The Ravens battled the Alethes Hawks through the whole night, with the first run coming in the third inning with Wyatt Morgan driving and Brevin Lee with a single. The Ravens scored two more runs in the fifth when Brady Slavens hit a triple to drive in Brevin Lee, followed by Wyatt Morgan hitting a single, allowing Brady Slavens to score. The Ravens won the game 3-2. to two. To see the Ravens back in action, come out to see back tonight. The Lady Ravens softball team played Shawnee Mission West at Shawnee Mission School District Center last Tuesday. The Ravens started off with, with the bats swinging them good. They quickly put three runs up on the board. Throughout the night, the Ravens kept scoring, though. The Vikings tried to make a comeback, but it was too little too late, with the final score being 16-2. Come out and support your Lady Ravens again tonight at 4:15 at Seaback. The golf team played in the league tourney at Lake Kavir yesterday. The round was plagued with strong wins, but they persevered. The team placed second overall. Cole Paris placed fourth with a score of 76, followed by Zach Molzer and Jackson Wexler with a score of 81. The men take the course next Monday at Falcon Ridge. Good job for all our weeks in sports this week. That's all we have for you folks. Catch us on the next edition of ONW Now.